Well, joining us now is Fabio Reinhardt. He's from the Pirate Group of the German Parliament. Fabio, very good to see you on RT International. Thanks for being with us. So, most of the European governments signed up to this ACTA treaty of 22 out of 27 countries, some in great secrecy. Yet now we see the European Parliament possibly turning their back on ACTA. Why this about turn, this U-turn? Yeah, I, I think it's very great that ACTA will uh, probably come to a halt in the European Parliament. And I think it's great that 100, hundreds of thousands of people were on the streets in Europe to make this possible. And that uh, also ACTA may, be, uh, may, become, uh, may uh, come to a stop on, on worldwide level. I think that's great for, uh, for civil rights and for uh, internet freedom. So is it people power that's won the day here? What swayed it, do you think? I think uh, in the end it was the people going to the streets for their rights on the internet. And I think this is a new phenomenon. Um, I think it's, it's a phenomenon that we haven't seen before, that people were so eager to defend their rights, to communicate, something uh, that really surprised a lot of politicians on very high levels. Um, and I think, uh, like you had the, the Minister of Justice uh, in the German Bundestag, uh, who had to stop actor? I think something she never heard of before. Or at least she didn't. She didn't know the details uh, of. Um, and so there was something like an emergency break for the for the government in Germany. Well, it was America that was leading the charge uh, on this and similar restrictive legislation. But I mean, it's not totally out of the water yet in Europe. We don't know if it's not going to be ratified yet. But it kind of looks that way. Does it mean? I don't want to hedge your bets here, but does it mean that Europe is putting this whole idea on the scrap heap? Sorry, could you repeat that, please? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was America that was driving all this in the first place. It's still early days. We don't know if it's not going to be ratified yet. Looks like it won't, but, it, it, but it, it still could be ratified. Nonetheless, is the feeling that Europe is ditching this whole idea? Well, I think the main idea of ACTA in the beginning um, should have been uh, to focus on uh, trademark law. Um, this is uh, why the treaty uh, was called a uh, 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 trade agreement um, on, uh, against counterfeiting. Uh, I think it was very soon that, uh, other, um, that other aspects were brought into the treaty, uh, like uh, copyright and also like the uh, things regarding the patent system. I think that was uh, the one that, uh, that brought ACTA down in the end and also the, the people that were protesting against it. Mm. Of course, for all the people that didn't like it, there was a positive to it, I guess, a positive for the fact that um, Europe's pirate parties were given an enhanced platform. It brought the whole issue out to be talked about. They've now got an enhanced platform for the 2014 European Parliament elections. What are they likely to achieve if they do win at the ballot box? I'm, I'm sorry, the sound is quite... <laughs> That's all right, sir, don't worry, it's technology again, you know. I'm saying the one thing that did yeah. come out of this was that it gave Europe's pirates parties an enhanced uh, platform for the 2014 European Parliament. It, it brought the whole subject out to be spoken about more, didn't it? Yeah, I think there was something good coming out of, of actor. People going to the streets, organizing themselves, having a founding moment, like a whole generation going to the streets saying we are, we are fighting for something that is important for us. Um, I, I wouldn't be as keen to, to, uh, uh, um, to compare it with the movement that brought down the Iron Curtain 20 years ago, but I think there was a key moment for one generation going to the streets right now, fighting this uh, agreement. Uh, and I think for, the, for these people, uh, when they uh, meet each other in like five or ten years, uh, maybe on an exchange uh, for a student program or some, some other uh, event, they would say, hey, have you been to the streets uh, protesting against actor? And the other person would say, yeah, I was there too. And this is something that will bring people together, that, that will be a defining moment for a whole generation that finds out about its own political ideas. I think this is something that actor really brought, brought to the people. Okay, Fabio, thanks for your thoughts. Sorry for a few ta uh, sound glitches we had there, but uh, Fabio Reinhardt joining us from Berlin. Much appreciated. Thank you.